وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على عبد الله ورسوله نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another episode from this series based upon the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal wa qala rabbukum ud'uni astajib lakum and your Lord said call upon me and I will answer you. All about dua, the etiquettes of dua, how to make dua and the explanation of some of the comprehensive supplications of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We came to the topic of at-tawassul. At-tawassul is to find a means of, to find a wasila a means of nearness, a means of closeness to Allah Azza wa Jal. In other words, to find an action or something you can say or do that will bring this dua nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and will increase the likelihood of this dua being accepted. And a tawassul can be divided into two types. A tawassul which is mashru' which is permitted and legislated, and a tawassul which is forbidden, which is uh, innovated, and which is uh, prohibited in the religion of Islam. So we're going to start by talking about the tawassul which is permitted. And we're going to mention a number of types and we're going to mention evidences for each one, inshallah ta'ala. So the first type of tawassul, and it is the greatest of the types of tawassul, the greatest thing you can give to boost your dua, to bring your dua nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to find a means of nearness to Allah, is a tawassul. إِلَى اللَّهِ بِأَسْمَاهِ الْحُسْنَى الْوَارِدَ فِي كِتَابِهِ وَسُنَّةِ رَسُولِهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم. To make tawassul with Allah's perfect and beautiful names. Allah Azza wa Jal said, وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَى فَدْعُوهُ بِهَا وَذَرُوا الَّذِينَ يُلْحِدُونَ فِي أَسْمَائِهِ سَيُجْزَوْنَ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ And this is in Surah Al-A'raf, Ayah number 180, and Allah Azza wa Jalla said, قُلِ ادْعُوا اللَّهَ أَوْ ادْعُوا الرَّحْمَانِ أَيَّمْ مَا تَدْعُوا فَلَهُ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَى Surah Al-Isra, Ayah number 110. To Allah belong the most perfect and beautiful names. So call upon Him by them, and leave those who deviate in relation to His names they will be recompensed for what they used to do. And the Ayan Surah Al-Isra say, call upon Allah or call upon Ar-Rahman. Whichever you call upon, then Allah has the best of names, the most beautiful and the most perfect of names. Can we give an example of that from the Quran? And I'm going to give you a, a qa'ida, uh, a beautiful uh, principle, inshallah ta'ala, that you can understand tawassul through. All of the permitted types of tawassul have examples in the Book of Allah or in the Sunnah of the Prophet There are clear examples from the Qur'an for each of the permissible types of tawassul. Example you can give of a dua where you can show it perfectly. I'm going to give you two examples. The first example, and it's the easiest, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ إِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِينَ آمين It's a dua. Surah Al-Fatiha is a dua. In this dua, how do you get near? How do you bring your dua near to Allah? You praise Him for being the Rabb Al-Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawm Al-Din. Use His names to come near to him, to bring your dua near to Allah, and then which is both coming near to Allah by your worship of him, which we're going to talk about later in a different category, inshallah ta'ala, and then إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطِ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ So you, you, you bring your dua nearer to Allah, you find a means of nearness to Allah through his names and his attributes. Let's give another example. Ibrahim, when he was building the Kaaba and Ismail 
وإذ يرفع إبراهيم قواعد من البيت وإسماعيل ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم ربنا وجعلنا مسلمين لك ومن ذريتنا أمة مسلمة لك وأرنا مناسكنا وتوب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم Until the end of these ayat Each one of these ayat finishes with two of the names of Allah Azawajal. When Ibrahim was raising the foundations of the house in Ismail, our Lord accept it from us. You are a Sami' al-Ali. Or our Lord, make us Muslims for you and from our offspring and show us how to perform our rites of pilgrimage and accept our repentance. You are a Tawab al-Rahim. And a simple example, someone says, Ya Ghafoor, Ighfir li. Oh, the most forgiving, forgive me. Ya Rahim, Irham li. Oh, most merciful, have mercy on me. And so on. Using Allah's names to get near to Him and to bring your dua, to find a means of nearness, to bring your dua nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second, Tawassul ila Allah bil amal saliha. Getting near to Allah through righteous actions. This is also found in Surah Al-Fatiha. It's also found in Surah Al-Fatiha. إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِينَ You alone we worship, you alone we ask for help, guide us to the straight path. And another example of this from Surah Ali Imran. The ayah is number 16. Allah Azza wa Jal said, أَلَّذِينَ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا إننا آمنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وقنا عذاب النار. Those who say our Lord we have believed so forgive us our sins and protect us or save us from the punishment of the fire. So here what's the link here? Where's the link? The link is simple. The person mentions their iman and asks Allah for something. They mention their iman, they ask Allah. In Surah Al-Fatiha, you mention your ibadah, your worship of Allah, your isti'ana, your seeking help from Allah, then you ask Allah for something. And mentioning you know, the, the worship and the seeking help implies asking Allah as well. But just for now, we just want to understand the idea that you're saying, Oh Allah, I worship you and I ask you alone for help. So guide me to the straight path. This is the second type. The third type, is a tawassul ila Allah ta'ala bi dua is salihin al ahya bi an yatlub al Muslim min akhihi al hay al hadir an yadu Allah lahu. The third type is, and this is important to get the conditions right for this, is that you seek a means of nearness to Allah by asking a righteous living person who is present with you to make dua for you, to Allah for you. For example, your brother who is present beside you, you say to that person that make dua for me. Ask Allah for me. Ask Allah to make it easy for me. And this is permissible. There are examples uh, of this in the sunnah of uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. An example of this is the in Sahih al-Bukhari from the hadith of Anas radiallahu anhu that when the, there was a drought, Umar ibn al-Khattab, he used to ask al-Abbas to make dua for rain. فَقَالَ أَلَّهُمَّ إِنَّا كُنَّا نَتَوَسَّلُ إِلَيْكَ بِنَبِيِّنَا صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ فَتَسْقِينَا وَإِنَّا نَتَوَسَّلُ إِلَيْكَ بِعَمِّ نَبِيِّنَا فَسْقِينَا قَالَ فَيُسْقَوْ He said, we used to Seek nearness to you by asking the Prophet ﷺ to make dua for rain so you would give us rain. And now we seek nearness to you by asking the uncle of your Prophet to make dua for rain so give us rain and the rain would come. It's really important to note here that Umar was making dua to Allah. He wasn't asking Al Abbas for rain, he was asking Allah for rain. And he wasn't asking Allah by the honor of Al-Abbas. He wasn't saying, Oh Allah, as'aluka bi jahil Abbas. By the honor of Al-Abbas. But he was saying, Oh Allah, I ask you by the dua that Al-Abbas is making. We, you know, this, we've asked him to make dua on our behalf. So, uh, give, make the rain come and then the rain, and then the rain would come. 
There are some other examples outside of these three major categories, uh, which we can also give and we can expand upon. Uh, one is at tawassul mentioning the blessings of Allah Azza wa Jal, mentioning Allah's blessings. An example of this is a statement of Allah Azza wa Jal, Rabbi qad ataytani min al-mulk wa allamtani min ta'wil al-ahadith fatir as-samawati wal-ard anta waliyi fi dunya wal-akhirah tawaffani musliman wa alhiqani bis-salihin. Oh my Lord, this is the dua of Yusuf alayhi salam mentioned to us at the end of Surah Yusuf. My Lord, you have given me from the kingdom and you have taught me the interpretation of dreams. Fatir as-samawati wal-ard, originator of the heavens and the earth. You are my protector in the dunya and the akhirah. And after mentioning the blessings of Allah and mentioning the, the, uh, that Allah Azawajal is the creator of the heavens and the earth, the originator of the heavens and the earth, then tawaffani muslim. Cause me to die as a Muslim, and make me join with, join together, or join me together with the, the righteous. A tawassul by mentioning your state and your need. Ayyub, when he called upon his Lord, that I have been touched by an affliction, and you are the most merciful of those who show mercy. So he mentioned his need and his desperation, and then he made dua. And uh, at tawassul by mentioning the outcome that you, you hope for. Like the dua of Ibrahim alayhi salam, Rabbana inni askantu min dhurriyati biwadin ghayri di zar'in inda baytika al-muharram, Rabbana liuqimu al-sala faj'al afidatan min al-nasi my Lord, I have left my family or my offspring to live in a valley without vegetation, near to your sacred house. My Lord, so that they can perform the prayer. It's the first thing. So give, make a group of people uh, come to them and provide them of the fruits so that they may show gratitude. So in this Ibrahim, mentions uh, two things. Number one, his hope that his family will establish the prayer. And number two, his hope that they will be grateful. And based on the, these outcomes that he hopes for, he asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send a group of people to them and to provide them of the fruits. So this is also a kind of tawas. So these times can be included in the other kinds. You can categorize it in different ways, but it's worth mentioning it separately because you might find a situation like that where you want something because of an outcome. So you say, oh Allah, enrich me so that I can give charity. So there is no harm in this either. And it has examples from the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. Just as there are permissible and legislated ways of getting your dua near to Allah, there are also ways that people do which are not permitted. Uh, these are of many, many types. And I'm just going to highlight a few of the most common. One of the most common is asking Allah by the honor of his creation. Like saying, oh Allah, I ask you by the honor of your prophet. Or I ask you by the honor of the Kaaba. This is disrespectful. It's a kind of i'tida in dua. It's a kind of transgression in dua. It's disrespectful to ask Allah Azza wa Jal as though one of his creation has a right over him. As though one of his creation has a... Uh, and has a, some, something over Allah that they can compel Allah to do it. Allah, this is disrespectful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there's no examples of it in the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu Allahumma accept what people misunderstand, like the hadith of uh, Anas regarding Umar and Al-Abbas. He didn't say that I ask you, O Allah, by the honor of Al-Abbas. I ask you by the dua that we've asked Abbas to make. And that is, by asking Allah through a righteous deed or asking Allah through a person who is alive and present. And it's not uh, asking them to make dua on your behalf. It's not an example of uh, asking Allah by the honor of someone. And this is something which is not from the sunnah. It's an innovated kind of tawassul. There is also no doubt tawassul shirki. There is tawassul which falls into shirk. And the examples of that tawassul can include uh, people who go to ask uh, people in the graves to, uh, 
the dead people and they go to them and they say to them uh, that, oh, so-and-so, I call upon you and I ask you to take my dua to Allah. And at the end of the day, that's exactly what Quraysh used to do. مَا نَعْبُدُهُمْ إِلَّا لِيُقَرِّبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ زُلْفَى We only worship them to make us near to Allah in position. And they said, إِنَّمَا هَوْلَاءِ شُفَعَاؤُنَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ These are only our intercessors in the sight of Allah. So a tawassul can be a serious matter. People going against the sunnah in this, they can fall into innovations, like asking by the honor of the creation. And they can also fall into uh, shirk, which is an example of asking other than Allah or calling upon other than Allah, even if the final goal is for it to reach Allah. But the action is to make dua to other than Allah. And when you ask them, why are you making dua to other than Allah? They say, we are only making that dua as a, as a wasila. We don't believe that the one we're making dua to can help us besides Allah, but we're only making dua to that one as a wasila, as a way to reach Allah. And this is exactly the belief of Quraysh, the people whom the Prophet wasallam fought and about whom Allah Azawajal revealed, قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ لَا أَعْبُدُ مَا تَعْبُدُونَ Say, O oh, disbelievers, I do not worship what you worship. They used to call upon other than Allah, make dua to other than Allah, whether it be stones or trees or stars or people, or the dead, uh, the prophets, the angels, they used to make dua to them. And when you ask them, why are you making dua to these people? When you know they don't benefit you, they would say, مَا نَعْبُدُهُمْ إِلَّا لِيُقَرِّبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ زُلْفَى We only worship them to make us near to Allah in position. So it's very important to bear that in mind. That's what Allah made easy for me to mention. And Allah Azza knows best. والصلاه والسلام. على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. How can you do a two-second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the Day of Judgment, if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the Deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.